hard point is active. Hostiles have captured the hard point. It's the Kibu Warrior here and hope you're all doing fine. So we're gonna do another sniper class setup today and this one's gonna be the SVD. Now if you all know, this game is not meant for snipers right because they are like SMG monkeys everywhere. People just refuse to use any weapon other than the M4 and the SMGs right. So yeah that's basically why sniping is pretty hard in this game, especially when you do not get to one shot with a sniper. Now the SVD is actually the sniper with the weakest firepower. So we need to make sure that we get as many one shots as possible when we are doing a class setup. Because if you're not gonna kill on the first shot, you're probably gonna be dead, right? So, so without further ado, let's go ahead and check this build out. All right, so firstly, the default optic is absolutely fine, all right? But if you want one, I would recommend using this one, all right? The Planwell 7X scope. You can go ahead and you can change the reticle uh, from customize, all right? And use this one, all right? This one's pretty nice. You have to get, uh, say, like maybe 150 or 200 kills uh, in order to unlock uh, this variant, but once you do that it's pretty nice all right this is the one that i would recommend if you don't have it just use this one all right next up we have muzzle and guess what we're gonna skip the muzzle because let's face it suppressor or not you are gonna get killed all right unless you're one of those guys who wants to sit at one spot the entire game and camp for your entire life if you're one of those guys then go ahead use a suppressor otherwise i wouldn't recommend one okay next one barrel uh we're going for the long barrel because we need that damage range all right we need this sniper to at least one shot mid range right if not long range so yeah this one's really crucial right uh under barrel we're gonna go for the uh, lightweight handguard uh, it's gonna give us uh, reduce the aiming idle sway as we all know aiming idle sway is absolutely broken in this game all right it throws off your aim and we don't need that so we're gonna control it as much as possible right so this is the best one that you can use magazine i would normally recommend the fast mag one because seven magazine size is fine or a sniper okay and you're getting a little bit of sprint to fire and you're getting a little bit of aim down sight which would really really help you when you try to run and gun with the sniper right uh for the comb i am gonna use this one right here uh commando riser right uh, this one's giving me aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed Now I need that sprint to fire speed because I love to go around the map with the sniper, right? If you wish to camp then you would probably Need this one aim down sight, all right? So for me, it's the Commando riser and if you're gonna camp It's the quick draw riser. All right. So yeah uh, The for the stock I have used uh this one heavy sock is the best one that you can use for any sniper right because flinch is absolutely horrible in this game it's the worst thing that you can have in a sniper there were moments when i missed my shot just because someone started shooting me and my camera went all over the place all right so flinching is really bad even if you get hit by one bullet it can throw off your aim so i need this one heavy sock uh, for the laser, 
I would always recommend target laser. Okay. The reason is when you check the details, you see that it gives you an idle sway delay. All right. This is what you actually need for every sniper in this game so far. You have this zero MS idle sway delay, which kicks in instantly when you scope, right? This is something that we don't want. It throws off your aim. You cannot quick scope if you have zero MS idle sway. The game does not really help you quick scope anymore, right? So the moment you try to quick scope, the idle sway will move your crosshair away from the target and you would probably end up missing it. That is something we don't want. So it takes some time for you to unlock this laser, probably around, say, maybe level 30 or something. I forgot, but you need this, right? We don't need zero MS. We need to increase this 2600 MS is absolutely fine. Uh, that's going to help us do a lot of quick scopes. And yeah, that's that's what we are looking for. And lastly, we have the fire mod. And for that, we need the recoil springs or the rapid fire. Now, let me explain over here, right? If you are willing to open your scope all the time and use this as a sniper where you can just shoot, 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 right? You can go ahead and use the rapid fire, but it will give you more recoil. Like you get more gun kick after a shot. So something that we don't want. So I would personally recommend having the recoil springs only to reduce that gun kick after one shot right so you can keep your scope open and you can aim easily and your crosshair will not go all over the place after you shoot for me i would recommend this one the recoil springs right you can see over here that when i change to the recoil springs i get better recoil control i get reduced gun kick so that is something that we need right so yeah recoil springs yeah so this is the svd build that i'm running and it, it works for me all right i get to one shot enemies more or less mid-range a little bit more than mid-range sometimes even long range do not expect to one shot every single time because the firepower on this gun is low even though you increase the damage range it's not gonna one shot every time all right so you just have to hit above the chest area all right so it's like from the head to chest, it's, it's going to one shot, right? Pretty much every time. So make sure that you're aiming uh, above the chest region, right? Anything below that would not be a one shot kill. So yeah, that's, that's something that you need to keep in mind when you're playing with this sniper. Go ahead and use this build. If you like it, you can keep using it. If you don't like it, you can obviously change. Do something that you're comfortable with. And yeah, that's it. That's That's it. If this video was helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead, hit subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next one.